I don't know, where's that? It should be. I got two people watching. That's what I said. They knew how to. I'm okay. Oh, I'm okay. Good morning. Today is August 1st. 2020. We're getting ready to watch the Invitational Elimination Game between the Texas Jets and the Indianapolis Edge. Almanza, number four, our righty, is up to the Jets. Seven for our jet. For the jet. Number which? What number? Twenty-seven for us. For us. Two seconds. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's not really raining here. It's kind of maybe slightly sprinkling, but it's kind of soft. It is awful windy. Not as nice as it was yesterday. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Bravo, bravo, bravo. 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 It does. I feel yeah. like football is about to start. It roll, does. Roll five. That's okay. That's okay. It feels weird when you're filming on the No, no, no. They have it on a tripod today. Oh. So. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Fair enough. I'll take that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Nice hit for Lupe. <laughs> I love their enthusiasm. <laughs> 
So two straight runs for the Jets to open up the game. There's going to be some runs scored in this game. It's going to take more than two to win it for sure. They said they can't hear. Hey, Paige. They said they can't hear anything. We may want to start the stream over again. Uh -oh. So, what do I do? Do you need the charger? Does your phone need the charger? Better. Here we go. Let's make a play. Strike out, guys. Strike out. One out for the Jets. Two runs. Top of the first. And Kevin Simpson wasn't happy about that strikeout. He told the battery was all over the place. And early. We have number 41, Lopez, up to bat. He's a right handed batter. He's quick too. He's probably their fastest base runner. Ooh. So if he puts it in play, the edge defense is gonna have to be quick on the ball. Well, let's hope that they're they're quick this time. Quicker than the I runner. I think this is gonna be a good one. It's gonna take some runs to win this game. The Jets scored their first two. You'll get their chances too. That's in play. No, it's not. Foul ball. Foul ball down the first baseline. Number nine, Mark of the Indy Edge gets him out. Yeah, baby! Good job, Mark. Solid play by Mark Morris on that ground ball. Number 22, Cox is up for the Jets. He is another right-handed batter. We have two runs, two outs. does today. The last time I saw the Jets play, he was hitting the ball right up the middle. Right up the middle. Rip. He, that's going to score. He missed the base. Yeah. Ooh. Ah. Yeah. 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 
Another score from 22. Cox on the Jets. That was an ugly base run, but but he hit it so hard that he had time. Yesterday with the wind, I feel like they had trouble getting to it, too. Yeah, yeah, there were, uh, and it, it wasn't just one team. It was happening all day long yesterday with uh, with some base running troubles. So I believe we'll expect to see some of the same thing today down that third baseline. Is this, is this the kid that's up? Uh, Number 88. Uh, Castaneda. Ricky Castaneda. Castaneda. He's their young guy. He's got some speed too. Ooh. Edge needing out. Score is three zero. Okay, this should be Mark Morris, right? Morris, Morris. Oh! Uh, oh, come on! Oh! Close. Close play, but. It was still on the ground, and Castaneda speed scored on that one. And those are the kind of plays, though, that you got to make in a game like this. Yep. Score is now 4 0 Jets. And Randy Lyons wants to know why you aren't playing, DB. Because I'm broadcasting this weekend. And that is a very good thing because one, I am learning, and I believe that you're go, getting an excellent play-by-play -play right with him here. <laughs> that and Randy knows me too well. I wouldn't be in in great shape to play today anyway because uh, I had a late night last night. <laughs> That's all right. Okay. As the rain comes again. Yep. It is raining here now. You can hear sirens off in the distance. It's raining, folks, and it's about 65 degrees. It's unbelievable. Like I said, it feels like football weather, really. But it is Indiana. Can't expect much different. Number four, Almanza is up. Got a strike on his first pitch. Aaron Almanza, he scored to start the game his last time up. Jets have four in. Randy said yucky weather, but at least you're all not stuck at home. That's true. Can't complain too much. Yes. That's got to get picked up. Yeah. And it did. Jason Dobbs on the put out, and that's the inning. So four in for the Jets, and so the challenge has been laid down now for Kyle Kennedy to try to match what Kevin Simpson did. That's a good inning for the Jets. The edge coming to bat. We got a big beat baseball party on the north side of Indianapolis. You're all invited. Oh, thank you, William. William said you both make a good announcing team. Oh, that's exciting to know. because. Thanks, Bill. I still Bill's up early today. Woo! See, they set their alarm for us. We're the breakfast club out on the West Coast. Where to go, Dobbs? Maybe that's way to go, Dobbs. I don't know. Okay, so do we have a lineup for the Indy Edge? We do, but I do not know it at this time. Page. Our lovely Paige has right. our lineup. For Nick, the Aaron, and Jacory to lead it to start it off. They started us off yesterday. Yep. So what's the last three of that lineup? Nick's, I would say Nick Silver, Richie, 
Who? Richie Mark. Okay, so same lineup we had uh, for the game we did yesterday. It is. Pretty good starting lineup. So, Aaron, after his big hitting day yesterday, the rookie gets to start in the semifinals here. These are the semifinals. Austin and the Indy Thunder are playing on the other semifinal in the other field. Sorry, anyone. On the other field. Ooh, there's a few teams from Texas here. Yep, four, four teams from Texas. Oh, half, wow. Half of the field is from the state of Texas. That's very interesting and very cool. We have two teams here in Indy, correct? Yep. Shot. Oh. He scored. That went far out into left field. Left center field. Good job, Nick. Where are you going to start? Good job, Nick. Good start for Kyle Kennedy and the Indy Edge. That was a well-struck ball. Very well. It was a very good hit. Number 53, Aaron C. is up to bat for the Indy Edge. This is the power-hitting rookie. He looks like he could be the next, like, David Smith maybe in this league. Uh, designated hitter and really hit the ball hard. Tina Hidalgo says, yes, Texas came out. You guys are doing awesome. Great commentating. Oh. Got a strike. Turn him up, Kyle, baby. Let's go, AC. That's the first pass ball of the game for either team. You're allowed to take one if you want. Unless you're on the Jets and you have you have Kevin Simpson pitching, in which case you don't take one. You take a pitch off of him, you might get the next one in the rib cage, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that does not sound fun. Oh. Ooh, a strikeout of Aaron C, so that's one out. Now, Ja'Cory Wiley. Number four, he's a right-handed batter, is up for the Indy Edge. We can expect to... Uh, Let's go, Cal. Let's go, Cal. Good hit from him and hopefully a run. Score is, I believe, four to one. Speaking of representation from the Lone Star State, that's where Ja'Cory's from. Aaron, can you... Thank you. Score, four to one, Indy Jets. Indy Edge, urge San Antonio Jets over Indy Edge. Oh, sorry, four San Antonio. San Antonio. Thank you. They scored four in the top of the first, the Edge have got one back here in the bottom. Just getting going. There's a foul ball. Come on, Jakar, you got it. Randy Lyon says the edge has a heck of a squad. Kyle has to stay consistent, and they can win this thing. And I think Randy's right. I think that's the key to the game, really, for the edge, uh, is to be able to put the ball in play. You can't steal first or third base in this sport, so if you put it in play, you have got a chance to score. You, you don't, obviously, if you strike out. And that was the one thing I noticed um, on the downside about the edge yesterday was a few strikeouts. Yep, we can't afford that in this game. Foul ball. All right. The field is pretty muddy today, I must say. Up there, standing in the batter box. Yeah, it's going to be that way all day. Yep. Struck him out as well. 
Two out. All right, you go, Nick. Come on. Two out. One run for the Indy Edge. Number 30 is up. Nick Silver. He is a right-handed batter as well. Let's go, Nick. First pitch is a strike. Second pitch is a strike. Third pitch is a strike. Hi, B. Oof. Oh, he took it. All right, all right. He took it. He's gone as far as he can go here now. Full count, two outs. As four to one, the, we're going to begin the top of the second inning. The Jets are winning. And people want to know how they can find the score of the other game. Uh, we will give you updates. Um, if we get updates, um, the... I believe that the other game is being streamed by the Indy Thunder and that that live stream has been shared to Beatball Nation. If not, it would be Lisa Gilchrist that would be streaming it uh, and she usually makes those public. So uh, that's probably where you can find Austin and Indy Thunder. But if we can get, if we get updates, if Booker comes right, wandering boys, over here or something, we will certainly bring you updates. Let's go. Come on. Let's get it up. Brandon, Brandon Chester is live streaming the Austin game. Perfect. Okay. So Brandon's streaming it also in the nation. So there's probably two live streams of that. One from the Austin side and one from the, from the Indy side. So, uh, and if. Any of you all are going back and forth and want to care to to text us some updates, stick them in the comments or something from over there. We would greatly appreciate uh, that, too, right. and it, we'll share them with everybody. Indy Thunder obviously are the favorites in that game, but anything can happen. All right, number 27, right-handed batter, is up for the Jets. Perez. Ron Carter says, pick us up, D. I'm, I'm so used to where you used to Lupe wearing number two that that 27 kind of throws me off. But I guess he got that number when he joined the Jets because for the longest time he was number two. I think there's two Perez's on this team, I believe. Maybe. Mm. No, I think there's just one. Just one. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Teresa Leindecker says Waven number twenty seven Perez. Base check and here we go. Dave says, "Play ball." Dave Taylor, the umpire. Yeah. 
We have a strike. So that's two strikes now on Lupe Perez, leading off the top of the second. Oh, Be ready, go. right here, right here. Yeah. You know it's coming. Popped it up. And he's there. Ah. So Lupe Perez is two for two. He's doing what he does what he's been doing for what a, about a almost a quarter century in this sport which is scoring runs five one he did a good job that was a good hit i mean it was in the air over the front line and was it went right down the middle and that was a fast base run too by lupe ran right past us here at the third baseline here's david smith number seven right-handed batter he struck out his last time up if he gets a hold of it, it's going to go. He's the designated hitter for the Jets. That's playable. Nope. Uh, First two in for the Jets, and, Ke and Kevin Simpson's hot. All right, here we go, guys. He's only got one strikeout in this game so far, and this is nothing like we saw a couple days ago when they struggled against the Indy Thunder. This is, uh, this right, is Jet beat ball here right now they're playing. They Deep. are on fire. Yeah, defense is going to have to pick balls up. But look, this is a competitive tournament with a, with a field, and we're down to four teams, so you've got good teams that are here now. Number 41, Lopez, right-handed batter. Well, that's, that's an easy uh, Mark Morris ball. There you go. So just like in the first inning when they uh, they when they need an out, they get one from Mark Morris. And the edge the edge could use could have they really needed that. And so now one out. You're okay, Jason. Let's do it, baby. One out. I believe the score is six to one. You are correct. San Antonio Jets are leading. We have number 22, Cox, up for the Jets. He appears to be a right-handed batter. I believe they're all right-handed batters, it looks like. Cox up, and Cox is one of their uh, team captains. Um, Gregory McDuffie gave us uh, a score update for the other game. Uh, Indy has six, and Austin has four. It looks like that's a close game, too. So far. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, if Austin can score runs on them, they can stay in the game because you know the Indy Thunder are going to score runs. Uh, so, so far over there, got a close one. Thank you for that update, Greg. Yes, thank you. Coach McDuffie. Ooh, where does he coach at? Uh, he was He's in Columbus, Georgia. He was co he coached the St. Louis team last year. Uh, and I expect, maybe we can ask Greg, but uh, what's in the works down in Georgia? Because I expect they're gonna, we're going to see another team pop up out there. That will be exciting. For the second out of the game, or the inning, we're at the top of the second. The score is still six to one. Indi or the San Antonio Jets. And now this is important here because if the edge can get Castaneda out, they can keep the Jets uh, from flipping their lineup back up to the top, and that would be important. This is sort of a pivotal spot in this game. 
I mean, the Jets or the the Edge have a lot of firepower on offense. Five runs is nothing to them, but you don't want to fall too far behind here too early. And I think Mark Morris better be ready. Uh, Gregory said, "If everything goes well for the for 2021, South Georgia Copperheads will be at the World Series." There we go, South Georgia Copperheads. We were looking forward to it. Next year's World Series will be in Wichita, Kansas. Ooh. Good hit. There it is. So the Edge get that third out. They needed it. Only two runs in there for the Jets. Pretty good inning for the Edge there. 6-1 heading to the bottom of the second from the Midwest sports complex time, right here. and social club yep, or social fun. center or whatever that it is fun. here in indianapolis indiana they got a it's real pretty cool they got a nice little little bar that has some uh, that has a food menu right here on this facility i don't think i've ever been to a beatball tournament where the park had a bar right there so like you can finish the, your game and then go and grab a cold one before you head back to the hotel Ah, here we go, right here. That's the way to do beat ball, I'm thinking. If you want to, yep, if you're so inclined. But uh, this is a, a nice complex, and they've been really accommodating. They've been letting uh, they've been letting us store the equipment and tents and things like that you need for a tournament down in the basement of that little, um, the little clubhouse they have here. And so they've been really helpful to Darnell Booker and those guys putting this tournament on. That is very helpful. There you go, Richie. It takes a lot to, even an eight-team tournament, it takes a lot to put on a tournament. I couldn't even imagine. So Richie Kressel will lead off the bottom of the second for the Indy Edge. It'll be Kressel, Mark Morris, and then back up to the top with Nick. Moheran. In a 6-1 game, the Edge needs to start doing some business here on offense. Those Jets have a good defense. Well, they, oh, we struck but they out haven't been tested yet. They haven't had. Oh, yeah. They will be tested now. Yes, they will. Had a good hit. Hey, that's a run. Yeah. A good start for the edge. Solid hit. There you go. Good job, Richie. It's ready to get started. Uh, Don Let's Green go, says the only thing better is having a cold one while watching the game. Mm hmm. Yes. Number nine. Right-handed batter for the edge. Mark, Mark Morris. Morris is up. So Crossell's run makes it 6-2. First pitch ends up being a foul. Mark Morris was running really well yesterday. I mean, he's always been fast, but he looked a little extra fast yesterday. We're hoping to expect the same from him again today. Yep. Yep. The edge need contributions from up and down their lineup because the Jets will get theirs. They've got a very balanced lineup. All six of their players are capable of scoring, and so are the edge. The edge just have to watch those strikeouts. These are a couple of good beatball teams here. Jets took second at last year's World Series. Runner up to the Indy Thunder and the edge placed sixth. Yes, they count the first foul as a strike. Any foul is considered a strike, but they can have as many fouls as they get. Well, on three strikes, 
you don't get a strike for a foul ball. Oh. Everything before three strikes. You can't strike out on a foul ball. Oh, that's in play. Yeah. Just barely made it. But... And a run for Mark Morris on a ball that the Jets probably think they should have picked up. They should have. It was a close one. But there isn't any barrelies in, in baseball or in beatball. So here come the edge. Two, they've scored the first two runs here. First two up to bat in the bottom of the second. And it was a five, the bottom two of the order. So now you're back to the top and it's 6-3 with nobody out. This is an indie edge rally going on right now. We saw that yesterday with a two out rally. We did, yes. Let's go number 22, Nick. He scored to open the game. Got by Flores. Oh, got him. Caught by number 22 of the Jets. Cox. Axel Cox on the put out. He backed up Richie. That's all right. Aaron Lewis is up next to bat for the Indy Edge. Sorry. Aaron C. I knew that. Sorry. Don't tell him that. I work with him. He'll be mad. I do like Aaron Lewis's music. Strike one on the rookie. He struck out his first time up, but boy, he can really mash. Now. Indy 9, Austin 4 for the Thunder game. So Indy's starting to open, in that, open that up a little bit. Thank you, Gregory. Hit it on the ground, the Jets will pick it up. Number 88. Ricky Castaneda, their short guy, on the put out there, and so that's two outs. Oh, oh he's going to do it again. It did. It hit Kyle Kennedy, I guess. I didn't hear it hit him, but apparently it hit Kyle, so that's a break for the edge because he'll get to come back, and when it hits the pitcher, it's a repitch. Yep, dead so, ball. Dead ball replay, and so he'll come and do it again. Take the out off the board. Now he strikes out, though. All right. so. Pick him up, Jacor. You got it. You got Six it. Six of one, half dozen of another, and there's two outs, and so it's up to Jacory to keep this edge rally going. They've scored two in the inning. Yep. Looking for more, though. Still trailing six to three. James Michael said, great job, Megan and Dave, with the commentary, go edge. And Ernest Cook says, hey, DB. Hey there. Shout out to Ernie Cook out in uh, Welford, South Carolina. Ernest Cook was one of the uh, one of the all-time greats. Was one of the cornerstones of the Austin Blackhawks dynasty that won seven championships back in the 90s. That's in play. 
I got by one. Got by oh, another yeah. and that's Woo! to run for Wiry. Big two out run for Jacory Wiley. Way to do it, Kyle. There you go, Kyle. All right, and it's 6-4. The edge creep a little bit closer. This is definitely a good game. Norma says, hey, Ricky. I got to drop a, a name here really quick. I've got to uh, to express some appreciation to for uh, Mike Malinsky from uh, Indiana Sports Network uh, coming out last night, a professional play-by-play -play person and volunteering uh, of his time to do the uh, Austin-Chicago game last night. That was a real treat that to is. be able to do that. And I listened to some of it. It sounded really good. That's a fly ball. That just landed. Silver's going to get there. And he scores! Nick Silver! That's a big two-out run. Nick Silver got some air on it. And it's 6-5. We have not only Indy Edge fans watching, we've got some Jet Life fans watching. Good. Welcome. Yes, welcome, and we're excited to have you. We are on the we are on the third base side. The Jets have the first base side. Number one is up to bat. Ooh. It's a shot. Just landed. Crussell's got a chance. Oh, oh bang, bang, play, and he got him. Lupe went. Perez on the put out. Far out into left field. Boy, and it, that's what, it really helps a defense to have somebody deep who can make plays like that. That, we call those heartbreakers. But a good inning for the edge. They put in, they put four runs on the board. So at 6-5, Jets, as we go to the third, we got a ball game here. Let's go, defense! There we go. Here we go, Edge. Jets will have the top of their lineup. That's why you train right here. Lupe, per, uh, Aaron Almanza, Lupe Perez, and David Smith will be the scheduled batters. Well, that's what the edge needed to get back into the game. They didn't draw even with them, but we got to run one run game. And remember, the edge are the home team, so they have the last at bats. This is not like the World Series. This is single elimination here going on right now. This is win or go home. Norma says, let's go Aaron. Aya Gordon says, let's go D-Vance. LaRon Carter says, that's the excitement we need. This is, yeah, this is awesome that we've got fans from both teams tuned in. And watching and we'll try encouraging. To, uh, try to give you as much of the action as can, as possible. Score is 6-5. Jets have a lead over the Indy Edge. And it is the top of the third inning. Tom Green said good game. Keith Martin said that needs to be picked up. Oh, not in time. Not in time, and Almanza beats it out. Double A scores. I think that's the third time he's scored this game. I'm not sure they've gotten him out yet. 
Oh, uh, he did get put out once. So he's two for three. He's hitting the ball well, though, and 7 5. Here's Lupe Perez. Number 27 for the Jets. Right handed batter. Are you okay? Lupe, yeah. I sat down for a second and then changed my mind. <laughs> Ooh, and he beat out that grounder. Got to pick those up. Lupe scores again. Scores. 8-5. 8 8-5 8-5 San Antonio now. As they score their first two of the inning. Ron Carter says he's doing his best to be ready by September for the Heroes tourney. I will be there. That's another one I want to come to just to enjoy beatball and do some live streaming. I hope you're live streaming there too. I hope to be here too. Do we know where that tournament's going to be yet? No. Uh, Paige might know. Well, let's get this. Oh, and a oh. run. Uh, the question was, where is the where is the tournament in September going to be hosted? All right, guys, here we go. It's going to so it's going to be in Greenwood. Okay. So Greenwood, Indiana. Freedom. That ball went way out. Hey. How you doing? Come on, baby. Fine. We got a game so, here. So Liberty, yeah, he just wanted to be on the stream. <laughs> so, so Liberty Park, that was our coordinate, our tournament director. So they said Liberty Park in Greenwood, in or Freedom Park, I'm sorry, in, in Greenwood, Indiana, is where the tournament will be in September. It will be another exciting tournament. Greenwood is just south of Indianapolis. Greg Gonteric said, hey, Dave and Megan, good job. Hey, DB, Greg. DB, I agree with you about Mike Malinsky. Yeah, that was really cool that he did that. <laughs> oh, and it took a couple of bounces, and it was in the air for a while, and he got there quick. Just past the foul line. And, and that's, you know, the speed of Will Lopez made that happen. So that's four straight runs in for the Jets. They answer right back with the four runs that the edge scored in the bottom of the second with four of their own in the third. And they've opened this back up to a five-run lead now. 10-5. Going to take some runs to win this game, though, Megan. I think the edge are up to it. Yep. Yeah. They're just going to have to keep scoring with them. They'll have the last at bats, so they'll have the last say. Cox or, or Cox number twenty-two is up for the Jets. Cox and up. They are definitely putting the runs in. There you go. Jason Dobbs on that put out. There's a much needed out. Yes. One down. Two to go. And they need to get Castaneda. What, what they don't need to do, because look, I mean, and it's no knock on, on Ricky Castaneda. He's a you know second-year player, young guy, quick. Um, but he doesn't have the power that the other five guys in the Jets batting order have. So the last thing you want is for Ricky Castaneda to score here. Because this is... You know, he's going to hit a playable ball. You just got to be quicker than he is. 
Jason Walter says, thanks for all the commentary this weekend, DB. My wife says you sound professional. Thanks. <laughs> I'm not sure I agree, but I appreciate her saying that. <laughs> I believe you sound professional as I'm, well. I'll, I will be brutally honest right now. Um, I'm fighting a little bit of a stomach ache, and it is my own fault. It is nobody's fault but mine. Dan Elazen says, I agree, DB. Love listening to you doing commentary. Thanks, Dan. Dan's the pitcher of the uh, Minnesota Millers. Are they here today? They are not. Maybe in September? I don't know. I haven't seen a, um, a list of teams registered for that tournament yet. I guess it's a four-team tournament. The Edge and the Thunder are two of the teams. I would assume Chicago would be one, but just because yeah. of their location. And Dan says they are not coming. No. no. Uh, All right. Here we go. For you ready? Castroneo. Got it, guys. Struck him out. Okay. Let's go, D. Let's All right. go, D. Focus. Let's focus. All right, so that's a gift. By my count, that's only the second strikeout of the game for um, Kevin Simpson. He is on it today. Yep. And Aaron Almanza will come back to the plate. He started this inning with a run. Dan says we are still working on September attorney. Unfortunately, not there yet. Michael Lewis says nobody's fault but yours in a bottle. Yeah. He's right. Almanza's first pitch is a strike. Second pitch is a strike. Ricky Ruzica uh, says, DB has the I just woke up voice. Get some water, brother. And, you know, the sad part is I didn't just wake up. It's, it's the night I had last night. It's on the ground. That's got to be picked up. And it's not. Uh, Almanza scores again. I think Aaron Almanza is liking, I think Double A is liking that leadoff spot. He says old Comet water. Yeah. <laughs> All right, baby, head up. You got a lot of games left in you. Yeah, Aaron C. almost had that and just took a bad bounce on him. And Kevin Simpson, and Aaron's a rookie, and Kevin's a class act, so Kevin was, was letting Aaron C. know that he made a great play on the ball, and the ball just took a hop on him. And all that's going to do is give him confidence. That's kind of cool that Kevin, Kevin did that and addressed him and said, hey, look, man, you had that lined up perfectly and just bounced over you. Aaron, a first-year player. Lupe Perez scores again. I'm not sure Lupe has been put out yet today. Right. Here we go, D. Refocus. Let's go, Edge. Refocus. Defense. Okay. That's play right here. By my count now, that is the sixth run of the inning. And it is 12 to 5. Boy, the Jets sure answered the edge uprising in the bottom of the second. Edge scored four, and now the Jets have come back with a six-pack of their own. 
Darren Keepers said he learned real quick how cool Kevin is. Ooh. Ah. That passed a couple of guys and David Smith scores. David got there quick. Dobbs got to shake that off. That's another run. The edge are in need of an out here. Michael Lewis said, uh, definitely not the same Jets team we saw in the ring yesterday versus the Thunder. No, not at all. And where is Arambula? Zach Arambula is out with a fractured wrist. That happened uh, as they were warming up for the first game of the tournament against the Indy Thunder. Uh, and he didn't think it was hurt that bad, so he didn't bat. But he played defense all day on Thursday. Then I guess the thing was swelling up, and he went and had it checked out. And it turned out he had a fracture, so our ambulance in a cast. He's out. I think you can see him under the tent. He's still here supporting his oh, team. Oh, yeah. But that's a... That is a tough loss for the Jets. I mean, you're losing your leadoff hitter, perennial all-star, and a pretty good defensive player right before the tournament starts. But you wouldn't be able to tell because they're playing sharp today. Not, not today. Yeah, not today. I mean, they got thrashed by the Thunder on uh, Thursday morning. Strike for number 41, Lopez. Ball. Yep. And he said, sorry to hear that. Y'all feel that against the thunder. just been told that um, I guess last night somebody took a picture of me with a bottle of Gentleman's Jack <laughs> and posted it in Beat Ball Nation. So, three outs into the top of the third. Let's go, Edge. Three outs. on a, So that was a strikeout, but man, that was a big inning for the Jets. They scored seven. 13 to 5, but the Edge have shown they, they can score runs too, so this game's uh, far, far from being over. The Edge, though, they have to respond now. They can't afford to lose contact with the Jets because the Jets won't stop scoring. Yeah, so in for those who are who can see and who are members of that group, enjoy that photo while it lasts because as soon as I'm in a position to do something about it, that is coming down. My fellow host said, really, why people feel the need to post stuff like that? That's childish. Thinking in regards to your picture. I don't really remember. I mean, for all I know, somebody might have talked me into consenting to it. But... <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Happens to the best I mean, of us. I would hate to think somebody would just photo bomb a... Uh, drunken blind guy but you never know this is me we're talking about here so I guess it's no holds barred number nine it's up for the indie edge Mark Morris come on Mark nice and slow come on Mark get hungry boys the edge needs some runs
Okay. Right, pick him up, Nick. Tough start to the inning. A strikeout of Mark Morris. Now back to the top of the order. Let's go, Nick. Nick Malheron scored his first time and was put out on a ground ball his second time. Let's go, Nick. You do one. We are extremely thankful for that. For your appearance. I'm having a blast. Ooh. I am. That's a right. Oh, and the edge needed that in the worst way. Maybe that'll get them back going offensively. Here. Right here, baby. 13 Go, six. You got 13 it. 6 Jets. Do you have an update from the Indy Thunder game? No, it's not even I'm glad you like the background music. I believe it's Avalon. <laughs> Relax your mind. It's soothing to her, too. Number 53, Aaron C. is up for the Indy Edge. They need him to lose one. I saw him lose a couple yesterday. He's been, I mean, and he's a young player, so it's sort of feast or famine. I mean, when he hits the ball, it goes a mile, but he's still getting the consistency down, so he's, he's striking out a little bit. Go, Kyle. I always say you might need to get the kids out of the room for that one. <laughs> That's a strikeout of Aaron C. That's two outs in the inning. Well, all right, boys. Let's yeah, go. I think, well, he's get hot. Let's get get hot. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go, Kyle. Right yeah, because Morris struck out to lead off the inning. So, two outs for Ja'Cory Wiley. Number four. That was a pop-up, and it did not go 40 feet. That would have been a good beat ball hit it if it had made it over the line because it had some nice hang time and it was going to be a coffin corner, but... There you go, Jacory. You got foul. this. So he'll go back and reset with an 0 1 count. <laughs> Again, we are in the bottom of the third for anybody who's just joining. Bottom of the third inning, semifinal, Jets and Edge, 13 6, San Antonio, right now. Two out rally for the Edge. The last score we had from the Thunder game was 9-4, to four, but that was a while ago, so... Uh, if you have an update and want to share it? Yeah, McDuff here, one of y'all, if you, you have a scoreboard update, feel free. Ooh, that's over one. He's there! Yeah. Oh. Big run! There we go! Good job, uh, yeah. Get hot, boys. Get hot. Has changed the call. You got this, Kyle. He's, I think he's DFing Rick, uh, Richie Flores for David Smith. 
All right, so that'll make it 13 to 7. Slowly creeping in. Let's roll with two outs, boy. Who is DB's tournament MVP so far? Oh, Number I can't, 30. I can't, I can't call so far. Yes. Boy, that's a good question. I haven't seen enough of the Thunder, so I don't really want to slight them. But I'll tell you what, um, Lupe Perez is having a heck of a tournament for the Jets right now. Scoring a lot of runs. Brandon Chesser was tearing it up for Austin on both sides of the ball. So... And, uh, but based on what I saw of the Thunder, if I was going to pick a uh, front runner for them, it'd probably be Kyle Lewis. And there's Nick Silver scoring one, and here come the edge with two outs. It's 13 to 8. Good pitching, Kyle. You're in your rhythm. They need to keep the line moving. Get out, baby. But seriously, I don't want to call a, tur a uh, tournament MVP before the championship game. We'll see what happens. All right, so Richie Crussell coming up. Number one on the Indy Edge. Right-handed batter. Formerly with uh, the Colorado Storm until that team disbanded. And he came over to the Edge. We are thankful to have him. Yeah, he's a good addition. He's a good ball player. On both sides. He can hit and he can play some defense. Come on, Rich. Come on, Kyle. I have been told that that, uh, that condemning photograph has now been removed so it's now a memory it's good before one of my colleagues or somebody sees it wondering what I'm doing when I'm not in a suit and tie and he got it. Richie Flores I believe was that uh, number zero for yeah. the Jets yeah. Flores so the edge got three in the down. inning to cut the lead to 13 to eight and they Kyle, needed some defense you? we're halfway Lock through the down, game right now heading to the fourth inning and it's 13 to eight san antonio so the jets are still in this and they're the home team need to have a good defensive go. inning Let's go, right defense! Let's go, let's go. Come on, Edge. I know you can't go that long, but I'll make up for your lack of ability. It's okay, you're really good. <laughs> good job. Hey, good job, man. Let's go Jets. Team Perez, family from Taylor, Texas. Mike, that was from... Uh, we used to pass Sutton through Taylor, West? Texas on the Amtrak when I would ride it Ready? down to San Antonio. That was, uh, that was one of the stops. It wasn't a very long stop, but they have a... Apparently, they have a train station there because Taylor was a stop. Ooh. I've right. driven through Texas. I rode through Texas. I did not drive. Attaboy! Michael Lewis said uh, Colorado broke up. I didn't know that. Well, it was more that they lost their pitcher, and so it was a volunteer issue. I don't know that they, I mean, they broke up so much as it just sort of fizzled. 13-8 is the score. And that's too bad, because that was a good team there in Colorado. Jets are in the Hi, pop-up. What a play! Ah, woo! By Jason? Jason.
Mason Dobbs, and he didn't have much time either because that was in the air for a little while. And man, it wasn't. It had hit hit the ground, and he was on it right away. Nice job. Come on, baby. That's the kind of defense that'll get the edge back in this ball game. It's what we need to see. Because that wasn't some little grounder, you know what I'm saying? That was a nice high pop-up, and he had to get on it. Do you think it's better in this game for pop-ups or grounders or line drives? Absolutely pop-ups, because you see, defense can't make a play on the ball while it's in the air, and balls are rarely ever caught on the fly. So the higher, the higher you can pop it up, um, the, you know, you're gonna, the hitter gets a head start down to the base. Um, so really pop-ups are the way to go in beat ball. Isaiah. Oh, damn, that's on the ground. Oh, it got oh, by though. Yeah. It got by everybody yep. and that's a run. Nice. Ricky Casaneda hey, boy, scores. That seemed like it was right up the middle. Nope, it went you know? straight down uh, the right. Oh, he field went first base, base. That's why. Yeah, he went opposite field, and they haven't been hitting a lot of balls to that side of the field, but they nope. did that time. Went past uh, Richie and uh, Jacory mm. tried to get it, but it got past him too. So that's the 14th run. Blake says, ask DB who the Jets are missing. Missing, uh, well, the Jets um, are missing. Of course, Zach Arambul is out with the with the fractured wrist. Ricky, of course, Ricky Brzezica not here. He's on our live stream, I think. Tuned in. Isaiah Wilcox. Um, but as far as their starters, other than that, they've got all their big guns. Nice, Ricky. Oh! Nice play. Who made that play? Number one, Richie. Right across him. That might leave a mark too. That got to him quick. Nice play, Crussell. Did that went straight to him. <laughs> Twenty-seven. Perez is up for the Jets. Don Green says, "Let's go defense." That was two two decent, really good plays here in this inning. They're picking it up. Right, they needed to. to. They're going to have to earn this one because Lupe Perez has been a scoring machine. I think they can do it, but we'll see. This pitcher is, he's on fire today. Yeah, Kevin's Kevin's having a vintage Kevin Simpson game. That's on the ground though. It's playable. And he's got oh! it. Mark Morris. Woo! And a big defensive inning for the edge. They only give up one and they trail by six going to the bottom of the fourth. Now they need to get their bats going. The, the doors go. open a little bit now for the edge. Good job, Edge. Let's go. Let's get some runs, boys. Three putouts from three different players in that inning. That was uh, that was a, a pivotal defensive inning there. Norma Almanza said, "Good hit, Double A." <laughs> yeah, it was a good hit. He just hit it right at Crussell. He did. All right, 14-8 as we go to the bottom of the fourth. And number nine. it will be Mark Morris leading it off and then the top of the order. So here's the, here's the chance for the edge right, here we go, now. Boys. Norma Almanza says, right let's go defense. They are out in the field and ready to play. Let's go, Kyle. 
in the edge pitcher, number 12. Hey, Christina. Grab me a score from the uh, bubble. Oh. She's not paying any attention to me. What do you need? I'm, I'm used to ladies not listening to me, but uh, I was going to see if the if my friend Christina back there would go and run and see if she could get us a thunder update. Ah, do we have a thunder update? First pitch, strike. Keith Martin says, let's go Mark, number nine. Mark was hitting yet well yesterday. He's been struggling a little bit so far today. Three strikes now. Scott says, let's go defense. Let's go. Hey, you got a lot of viewers on this one today. Holy we have 36. Good, good, good. Thanks for joining. Yes, we appreciate you and are glad to have you. It's on the ground. He's going to have to hurry. Oh, oh by a step. That was close. Caught by number 41 of the Jets. Will Lopez on the put out. That's all right. Mark was really digging down that baseline. He, he was put out by about a step or so. And uh, now Nick Malheron at the top of the order. And this is where they need their leadoff hitter to get a big poke here. And he's been doing it ever since he joined the league here a few years ago. He joined the league and won the batting title his rookie season, as I recall. Oh. He became the first rookie to ever win the batting championships uh, since uh, Zach Arambula from the Jets. Uh, formerly with the Austin Blackhawks did it. I think that was 2009. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah, if you can come in your first year and do that. Might have been his second, actually. He may have been a little bit hurt his first year. I don't remember. Maybe it was his second year. Either way, that's still it's, extremely yeah, Nick, impressive. Yeah, it didn't take Nick long to get going. and He's going to score here. He did. Yeah. Woo! Now Heron scores. There you go. 14 to 9. Let's go, Aaron. You got this, kid. You got so, this. if they're able to get it way out into the outfield, there's a little hill, and it goes down the hill, and it's gone. There you go, guys. And that's just exactly what Nick did. We've seen it from a couple of the other. Jets players, this. and it's wet. And it's, the balls are bouncing like crazy here today. Michael Lewis has 12-5 Thunder. We've, uh, what's the score here? 12-5 Thunder, we are 14-9. Jets over the edge. Wow, 12-5 Thunder. They haven't, put them, they haven't exactly put them away yet. Let's go, AC! That's a good point, but I wasn't going to be the one to make that point. One, one. In the air. Just now landed. It's short, though. Oh! And he calls it foul right as he gets to the base. He had to wait. Dave Taylor had to wait and see what the spin of that ball was going to make it do. And he called it foul at the last second. Did it roll back in? It did. It rolled back in. Really? <laughs> Dave, I want my hundred back. <laughs>
Shannon Canton said Christian Thaxton won the batting title as a rookie. Was he a rookie when he did that? I remember him winning the batting title a couple times. In fact, he's got the all-time record for the highest batting average at the World Series, but I did not realize that Christian was a rookie when he won his first one. Um, I'll take his word for it, though. Michael Lewis says, I hate those last-second fouls. Got to run all the way to the base for nothing. Oh. Randy Lyons? Nope, no, I think. Three strikes. Steve Stamball won the batting title back in 94, so as a rookie, he had three practices with the team. No kidding. Batted .780. In 94. In the tournament. Uh, okay. All right, pick him up. So it has happened. Judge Stand Corey. by. Judge Obviously, Corey. I remember, man. He, I competed against uh, Stand by and his Kansas All Stars Mind for the car. many years. Let's get on a roll right here. And that doesn't surprise me. Number four is up. Um, Dave said you should be glad that he wasn't there for that call. Nope, that was Jerry Wendell. <laughs> Indy 12, Austin 5, bottom of the 5th. Bottom of the 5th, so it is late in that game. It's 12-5 Indy Thunder. Wow. Norma Almanza, let's go defense. Go, Kyle. Is this Jacory at the plate? Yes, it is. So what, number what did four. I miss from Aaron C. Oh, he struck out. He struck out. That's solid. That's over Flores. First base is on the ground. First base is on the ground. Oh, no. But I didn't even hear it. It was already on the ground. Okay, so we got to figure this out. Was the base laying on the ground while he was running to it, though? Yeah, it was down while he was running to it. Okay, if the base is on the ground while he's running. It was buzzing. Yeah, but yeah, but if it's laying on the ground, what's the call? The base was laying on the ground before the pitch was thrown. Nope. It's in, wow, so the out's gonna stand. The out They stands. called him out. I'm confused. Nick Mulheron reminds me of Steam Stamball in numerous ways. Randy Lyon said the base was laying on the ground before the pitch was thrown. And if that's the case, then how in the hell how can that stand? Excuse my French, but that's a terrible... If the base was down when the pitch was thrown, how that how does that play stand? No, they said it, said it fell down during the, during the play. Oh, God. <laughs> if it fell down, all right. All right, I'm running towards the down. So basically, yeah, it's basically, it's a, it's a hey, we got to shake it off, guys. We're not going to it's all right. That's what you're it's done. I didn't feel a gust of wind strong enough to knock that base down. Huh? But, but what they were complaining, well, here's an art thing. Well, if it fell and so on, we should have to redo it. But they're saying, no, it fell. There's nothing we can do about it. Let's go play D. Which is BS. Should be redo. Yeah, I should be redo. Standing here with my jaw dropped because. All right. Well. I heard him say I pulled out already. Well, that means you put the base down on your own. Defense did. That's interference. She done got into it. You cannot hit the you cannot hit the core defensively. I agree. That, that's interference. Boy. I hope. I want some calls. That was good. You're getting there, boy. Let's 
Go, a little bit at a time. Y'all will have to beg my pardon while they switch up sides. I'm going to see what Jerry Wendell wants in real time. Come on, boys. Just call. I agree. I agree. We're on the air, by the way, but I agree with you 100%. What, what was the first time they got screwed? All right, that's Jerry Wendell, and if he don't know the rules, nobody does. All right, thanks, Jerry. I agree with you. That should have been a redo. All right, bye. Jerry Wendell is our rules guru from the league, and he says that was an equipment a base malfunction and should have been a replay. That's in the air. That's over him. That's a run. Way uh, out in center field. Boy, I hope something like that doesn't be, end up being a big factor in this game because that was the third out of that inning. And now here come the Jets with another run. It's 15 Go, Edge. Lockdown. You're okay. You're okay. Lock it down. One out of time, boys. Don't play the time. I think we have a protester over here. Update, Indy 16, Austin 5. Okay, so the Thunder are, look like they're putting that one on ice to advance to the championship game to meet the winner of this team. I think that's only about the third right, third strikeout or so for Kevin in this game. You got this, boys. You got He's this. pitched a, a pretty masterful game so far, but there's one out. Cox up now. Here we go. Make a play right here. Again, still, this is only a six-run spread. As long as the edge can make some plays and not not let this uh, deficit get any larger they got a chance high pop fly foul ball right in front of us yep Randy Lyons said Kevin Simpson knows the rules and that was the wrong call Love the competitor in him, but that was a very bad call. <laughs> yeah, I think the edge got hosed a little bit, but you know, Kevin's not the umpire though. Dave Taylor is, and he's an NB, he's a, a league certified, and, uh, trained whatever umpire, and he's got to know. If that base is not standing up, uh, then anyhow, it's a pop-up. Short, he's gotta be up there. Missed the base. Uh, oh, and he calls him safe. Okay. <laughs> Do we know the score? No, I was, what's that? I was too busy laughing at that cheer there for uh, Axel Cox. Uh, 
we started that last year. But anyhow, um, I won't repeat it either. Uh, the score now with that run is 16 to 9. It's a seven run jet lead here in the top of the fifth with one out. And here's Ricky Castaneda. He scored his last time. Top of the six. Top five. Indy 16, oh. Austin 5. Oh, over there, top of the 6, Indy 16, Austin 5. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to call that one. I'm going to declare victory, I think, there for the Thunder. Uh, Austin's got a, Austin's got a good lineup, but I don't know that they're going to put up double, double digits in an inning against uh, the Thunder defense. Ball called. So, Ricky ran an entire base, and now he'll come back and have to do it again. But uh, he's got young legs. Ricky Castaneda, about uh, 20, 21, somewhere around there. Yeah. Ah, got got him. Nick. Bang, bang, play, and they got him. There you go. There you go. Who was that, Crussell or Jacory over there? Which one? That was right. Nick, our number play, right here. lead off batter. For oh, the... Nick Moharan made that play on D. Okay. All right. Well done. Right here. Stay strong. It's two outs, and now they've got to deal with um, a red hot Aaron Almanza. Leadoff hitter at the top of the order. He is red hot today. Got to give a shout out to that pitcher. He's not missing too much. Got him. Caught by Nick Mulherin again. Mulherin again, and that's big. Hey, they only gave up a one run that inning. So, 16 to 9. They're still in range here. So, we go to the bottom of the fifth. See what the edge can do now. Absolutely. Hi. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Did I get you? Uh, no, you got the. Okay, I'm going to scoot back this way. Got it. All right. Indy Edge, you're up. Number 30. Nick Silver, correct? Nick Silver, leading it off. 
he will be followed by Richie Crussell and Mark Morris. Keep it going, Nick Silver. Let's keep it going. <laughs> it seems pretty overcast out here, but it has stayed dry here. We are extremely thankful for that. We need Kyle Kennedy. He needs to heat up. He does need to heat up. Need some good hits. We got some strong batters. The edge can do it. Struck him out. Wow. All right, let's go. Let's go. Bottom of the fifth. Roll. One out. Richie Crussell's been hitting well to today, and actually this whole tournament. So let's see if he can get a big one here to get the edge going again. I believe that he can. Let's go, Richie, baby. Dave Taylor saying the ball was on the ground and Richie Cross is safe. Let's go. Let's go. And it's 16 to 10. We're going to go, baby. Let's go, Kyle. All right, Mark Morris to the plate. So that was a big run for Crussell because that guarantees now Mulhern will get an at bat in this uh in this inning. He's on deck now, and here's Mark Morris. Number nine. He needs a well-placed ball and a nice base run. Indy 16, Austin 6 for the final score. Right. Put that one in the book so the Thunder will advance to the championship game and wait the winner of this. Come on, Doug. 
Bro, what's up, baby? You got it? Struck him out. All right. Can't afford that. Here we go, Nick. Here we go. All right, Nick and Malhern back at the top of the order, looking for a two-out. Try to start a two-out rally if they can. Here you go, Nick. Let's go. Get on the roll. Hey, Paige. It says low battery. How do I know if it's on? Struggling to put the ball in play all day has a chance right now. Come on, Aaron. Yep, yep. 16-11. Megan? Yes. It's not recording it. Uh-oh. We're off the air? Yeah. Oh, I wonder how much of it we missed. No wonder there weren't any comments coming in lately. Is it now? Yeah, it's working. Okay. I was just trying to see if it would charge, but... I hope we didn't lose much. Michael says, no, you're here. Oh, we're here. Okay, good, 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 good. All right. Yeah, bunch of mad viewers if we cut out in the bottom of the fifth of this game as the edge are making a comeback here. They're trying to. Deep breath, Aaron. You got it, baby. Two strikes now on Aaron. Three outs. All right, let's go, guys. 16 to 11, heading to the sixth. Jets still in the lead. Get another inning. Keep your minds in it. Keep your minds in it. Let's go. Well, the Jets' defense is going to have to stand real tall here. And uh, they can't really afford to give up too many more runs. They've got three outs left to work with. And five runs, five-run lead is not is not insurmountable in this game. But they don't really need to give up anymore if you're the edge right now. This it's is, still going down, Paige. 
pretty been a, been a pretty well played game. Y'all ready? Yeah. Y'all ready? Okay. Uh oh. Good. We may lose power, but we are working on it. We're working on two, slowly. Come on, boys. So, two, three, and four. Yep. 16-11. 16-11. I think this is Lupe Perez leading off, right? 27. Well, we got seven. We might know six. Six okay. percent? Yep. Oh, he's not in time, though. Safe. Lupe scores again. Is 17 to 11. It's a really good game. It has. It's been a well-played game, and pretty well officiated except for that one questionable base malfunction Scott says, way to go, Lupe, let's go Jets. That is crushed. And put out by Nick. By, was that Nick? Yep. Number wow, two. another big play by Nick Mulherin. That was a shot by David Smith. And a big play out there. All these viewers would have to jump on that one if we did that. But is the battery pack just not working? Or? That's weird. All right, so the viewers, we may have to, you may have to switch over to uh, a different live stream here in a second if... Uh, we lose power. We are in the top of the sixth. Struck him out. Go, lock it down. It'll be right here. We'll just restart it. So, a rare strikeout there. It's two outs. And here again, if they can get this out here, this is Axel Cox. It's a tough out. They can get this out here. They hold him to one run. 
And they would need six to tie. That's gonna be a tough play. Now. Oh. And a run for Axel Cox. That's the 18th run of the game, scored for the by the Jets. It's back to a seven run lead. Where well, the edge have kept it close, but they just haven't seemed to uh, narrow that deficit. We can sit there all day. And now this is probably a must-have out here. This is the bottom of the lineup, Ricky Castaneda. We're all ready to restart. I'm just trying to wait until the edge go up. And a run for Castaneda, and that's huge for the Jets. That might just be the backbreaker. And they have started their tomahawk chop. Dude, that's kind of offensive to me. I'm an Indian. I'm one fourth Indian. That does offend me. <laughs> he said it offends him and then says he's Indian. <laughs> I am. I'm one fourth, dude. Both my great grandmothers were Indians. Like blooded. from India? No, no. Oh, you. Oh, you. You mean Native, Native American? American. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Cherokee, Miami, Indian. <laughs> I'm serious. Both grandparents. Both great grandparents were. Go ahead. It's all right. I still call them Indians too. When I was no, a kid, no, yeah, I, 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 I played I, cowboys we and Indians. Call ourselves that, so we, it's yeah, all good. Gotcha. It's still Cleveland's baseball team for now until they make somebody makes some changes. That is true. Got him. Good play by Mark Morris to end the inning. All right. Here we go. Let's. Edge need eight to tie. One batter at a time. Hoping to get some bats around. We're gonna finish this and start. On the new stream, you'll find us right here in just a moment.